So, y'all know me when I be in the bathroom and I be thinking about stuff. I say, let me go ahead and record this while I'm thinking about it because if I don't, y'all ain't never gonna get this video. So, ladies, when I say that and do it like this, it's because something on my mind big time and I want us to learn to be happy, healthy, and whole. It sounds like a lot, but it is. <laughs> and what I want us to do is every conversation or situation that you get into with someone else is not meant to be a lifelong journey. I don't care how happy you are. I don't care how smooth it seems you know what i mean it's like it can either happen or it can't or it might happen or it don't but what i need you to understand is how to continue being who you are before during and after that relationship i say that because a lot of times when we meet somebody or are introduced to someone we're not 100 percent who we are we kind of depend on how that person look or carry themselves to kind of fit that mold to entertain that person for that time frame regardless if it's just one date or y'all date for months or years or whatever hence the reason why so many women lose themselves in relationships because they're not being 100 percent authentic to who they are okay get that part out of the way <laughs> we also have to understand <clears throat> what being happy is being happy is a choice, 100%. Uh, my sister tagged me in a meme saying, um, if you're at a funeral, you know, somebody's still gonna make a joke or, you know, make you laugh at the funeral. Somebody you love just passed away. Why are you happy? Or why are you not taking it like everybody else? Why are you not crying and snotting and all this stuff like that? Because you have an understanding of what life is. You know, life is a cycle. You live and you die. You know what I mean? And although it may be hard because the relationship and the bond and everything is so strong, but there's absolutely nothing you can do physically to bring them back to earth. So nine times out of 10, I doubt that person is like, oh, I want you to cry and be miserable because I'm gone. No, they're like, I want you to be happy and I want you to continue living your life because I lived a good life or not. Whatever the situation is, who knows? But what I don't do is I shed a tear or, but my, my relationship with my people is one-on-one -on -one, as yours should be as well. You shouldn't sit here and go into a, a depression behind something you cannot change. And that comes with living and deceased people. You can't change the situation. Oh, if I was there, oh, if, oh, if. The, the fact of the matter is, it happened the way it happened and that's all that you can do you can't kill yourself because they're now gone okay that's a whole nother spill we talking about happy healthy and whole happiness is a choice choose to be happy choose to enjoy the moment okay i don't care who i'm with who i'm with or where i'm at i'm gonna have a good time life is precious it's limited it's not you're not gonna live forever so why go to an event and be in the corner like this the whole time and go on? Okay, nobody wants to be around that kind of energy. We came out to have a good time, okay? If something happens and, you know, you get a drink spilled on you or somebody stepped on your foot or whatever the situation is, you can still make a choice to be happy or be miserable. If somebody bumped me, I'm going to say, excuse me, even if I didn't bump to that person, I'm like, oh, excuse me, like, oh, no, my bad. That's exactly what happens every time. You know what I mean? They know they was at fault, but they didn't do it on purpose. They didn't say, I'm going to dance like this just so I can bump into her or him. Or I'm going to dance like this just so I can step on his shoes. Pe Listen, <laughs> people don't think like that. Normal people don't think like that anyways. And even if they did, why are you falling into the way that they believe or the way that they think? Like, it takes two to keep a fire going. To ignite anything so if somebody step on your shoes and they don't say my bad or sorry just like my bad bro they don't sometimes they don't even I, listen I sat on the plane next to a lady who was not so aware of her surrounding this lady was in my chair leaning on me took up both armrests every time she eats she do like this her elbow all in my face and I'm just saying like this lady don't even understand that it's another human being sitting next to her she's not aware of her surroundings 
You know what I mean? So all I did was kind of like turn a little bit like this. So if she bumped me, she'll bump my shoulder instead of knocking my chin out. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's the choice that I made because once again, I choose to be happy. I'm not going to let somebody else's actions influence the way I feel. If I woke up happy, I'm going to be happy. You're not going to change that. Let's talk about being healthy. Ladies. Ladies. Let's be healthy from the inside out. One thing that I've realized with people is that they don't... Let me not say that. One thing I realized about people is that you can be beautiful on the outside. If your inside is jacked up, X that. People are attracted to confidence. Are you confident in who you are? Are you confident about the way you carry yourself? Are you confident in the conversations that you have? That's what really attracts people is that confidence level. If you have no confidence, then I don't care how pretty you are. Nobody can see it if you like this because your head down because you don't have confidence. You see what I'm saying? I'd be on live. I don't care. Makeup, no makeup, one lash on, one lash off. It don't matter to me. Lace lifted. It doesn't matter because the words that I'm saying and the point that I'm trying to get across is way more important than what you're seeing here. You're going to fall in love with me with your heart. Not because she's cute. Not because she got a little booty. Like, none of that stuff. You're going to fall in love with me because I take the time to invest in myself and I feel like I'm valuable and I exude that. That's what attracts you to me. Okay? Get that. So, we have to be healthy from the inside out. We got to take time to get our mental together, get it right, get it prepared. Like, God put us through situations to learn from them. Not to be the victim, not to be, oh, well, it's me, not, not, none of that stuff. You go through situations to learn from it so you can be a better person on the other side. Once all these things happen and God say, okay, now I'm ready to release these blessings, then you prepare for all of it. Sorry. <laughs> you prepare for all of it, okay? So, health. And we ain't going to stop that, the mental part. Let's talk about the physical part. Let's talk about what you eat. It's okay to eat whatever you want to eat. I'm not going to sit here and you better eat vegetables and fruit and drink a whole lot of water. I ain't going to say that. Eat what you want to eat. But make sure the same amount of stuff you're eating is the same amount of stuff that's coming out. Because if your body is holding on to those steaks and hamburgers and hot dogs and shrimp and lobster and crab legs, if your body is holding on that for days, you have to understand something ain't right. You have to understand, baby, <laughs> We was talking about this, how a lot of people are immune to their smell. Like people will have an odor and they don't know it because they're immune to it. They've been smelling that way for a long time. So they like, well, I don't smell it no more because I've been smelling it for a long time. I don't know how that works, but it does. And if that's the case and you care about this person, it's okay to tell them, hey, you need to detox. Or hey, let's detox together. I'm just the blunt person that's going to be like, baby girl, get these cover uh, bags of ISO tea. And let's um, get all, let's flush that. Let's flush that. Let's get the skin looking better. You know what I mean? But people like to sugarcoat feelings. You have to be honest. Honesty is a part of being healthy as well. Because if you're honest about situations, you're not going to sit here, hold on to stuff, stressing yourself out because you want to say something, but you scared to hurt that person feel it and all that stuff like that. Don't you know it's more embarrassing to walk around smelling pungent than you just sitting me down as somebody who loves me and say, hey, girl, listen, Something ain't right. Girl, check that pH. Something. If your get up wind got an after effect, something ain't right. <laughs> something ain't right. You, you need a, 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 a little boric acid insert or something. Get that pH balance level, honey. Let's probiotics, water, something. Let's get this together. You should not. This is in my DNA. Everybody had that. that. Everything in the body can be corrected. When you came out the womb, you ain't had no smell. What people love to do, smell the baby's breath. Oh, the baby's breath smells so good. That little poop ain't even have no smell as long as they breastfeed. And it's just when you introduce them to these toxic baby jar foods, these formulas, all this stuff, now they start funking up the place because all these foreign uh, uh, items are now in their body. They're taking in stuff they ain't even supposed to. They're supposed to be on that breast milk. And then, shut up, Cheryl. Okay. So let's get that inside together let's be healthy inside and out okay and whole now a lot of people feel like being whole is getting over your last situation or getting over a traumatic experience and that is not the case okay being whole is being 100 percent comfortable in who you are 
what you have to offer, knowing who you are. You know what I mean? These are the attributes that goes into wholeness. Okay. Let's talk. Let's go back to babies. Why are people so excited about babies, and why are people so overwhelmed with joy when this new human being is born? And when you break it down, it's because they're a hundred percent genuine of who they are as an infant coming into this world. When they're growing up, they're a hundred percent genuine. They don't care about nobody's feelings. Oh, mommy, they ugly. They 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 just a hundred percent genuine. It's funny, but it's not. You know what I mean? They they don't sugarcoat anything. Everybody loves that about babies. You know what I mean? They're drawn to that honesty. Why do we change that as we get older? I understand the environments. I understand the parenting. I understand uh, however you come. I understand all that. But when you're old enough to know better, why can't you do better? Why can't you get back to that honest point? Why can't you get back to that point of life where, you know what? This is who I'm happy being. This is who I can look in the mirror and be like, girl, who Jesus, girl, you cute. Mm -hmm. Like that, that part. Like we need to get to that part where you're not afraid I always say I'm an introvert, and everybody's like, Cheryl, I can't tell because when you're out, you talk to people, you're social, you're this, you're that. Yes, because I'm confident in who I am. But if I had a choice of being outside or being inside my home, I'd rather be inside my home. Okay? I go out to see other people. This is about as social as I get. Make a video, post it. Hey, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But when I go out into the world and people are like, oh, you Cheryl, you did, you, I'm like, you totally different than what we see on Instagram, you know? Yeah, you know, because I'm in a comfortable place. I'm in my I'm in my environment, so I'm good. I can be who I am. But when I'm out, I'm more cautious of my surroundings and my who around me and all that good stuff. So let's talk once again about being whole. The only way you can really be whole about a situation, it is not to get over it, quote unquote. The way you can be whole about a situation is to understand why you went through that situation and be okay if that situation resurfaces itself. That's a big pill to swallow, but that's the only way that you can really be whole. There are certain things that somebody else will do who don't know anything about your past that will trigger you from something that was traumatic in your past. They're not doing it intentionally. You didn't tell them what happened, but because you haven't gotten over that situation, that's why you still get triggered. Now, mind you, once you become whole, if that situation happened again, you'd be like, God, dog it. But now I can't treat this person like that person because this person didn't do what that person did. They're just being who they are. I have to be the person who's like, you know what? Let's talk for a second because this just happened. You just said X, Y, and Z, or you just did something to me that triggered an emotional effect from my past. And I'm going to tell you the situation if you want to hear it. Most of the time, they'll be like, heck yeah, let me know. They don't want to hurt you. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to hurt you. They do want to know what's going on. And they do want to avoid that trigger if they can. Most people say, oh, that's a weakness because now they can hold that over my head. If somebody loves you, they're not going to hold that over your head. If they do that, exit stage left. You ain't got to dump them, but you need to give them some space to think about what it is that they're doing. Because if you're trying to hold stuff over my head, the only people who do that is terrorists. Am I affiliating myself with one? Let me know. Because if you're going to hold something over my head, we might as well stop talking now. If I, if I didn't do it intentionally, let's just cut it, okay? And that's that. So, once again, you can only be whole once you get down to the root of who you are. Now, who, who other people want you to be. Now, who you were raised to be, but who you are. Because it's a lot of people who raise their kids to be doctors, and then they come out and they want to be uh, a uh, owner of McDonald's or they want to be a chef or you know what I'm saying? They want to be something totally different than what somebody else raised them to be Because that's not who they are. You want them to cut people open. They want to slice meat. They want to be you know what I'm saying in the culinary industry like Give people a chance y'all <laughs> You gotta give these people a chance. Let these people be who they are and once they do that you be who you are Let them be who they are and y'all either attract or not Either you can accept that person or not. The choice is yours. Whoever. Because I know some men going to be nosy and watch this video. But the choice is always yours. If it doesn't work out. And guess what? The sooner you find out if that person is for you. The easier it is to either commit to that situation. Or let that whole situation go. You got to weed it out. Most of the time. I know people fall in love at first sight and all this stuff like that. Most of the time it don't work that way. 
people fall in love at first lust. If you have the physical attributes that they like or want to see, then guess what? They're going to pursue you, but you might have a nasty attitude. Or you must have all this emotional baggage, and they just want to have a good time. I tell people all the time, let me know the reason why you want to talk to me. You want to have a good time? We're going to have a good time. Having a good time don't, ain't got nothing to do with sex. It's just what it says, having a good time. I'm hanging out, you know what I'm saying? We go out to eat, we play cards, you know, whatever the situation is. We're just having a good time. If that's what you want. But outside of that, it's going to have to be some kind of level of commitment. And that, it's not it's not a hard pill to swallow. So don't get off, throw it off by sea bird. Oh, commitment, oh, head. No, I ain't ready for that. How do you know? You ain't even tried. How do you even know what their level of commitment means? It could just mean uh, me talking to you, you talking to me, and we're not talking to other people. You get what I'm saying? Or it could be I'm the most important person. I don't care if you talk to other people. I'm going to be the most important person in your life. I don't know who will do that. But people do that. Because maybe they're not ready to commit to that level. Maybe they have a lot of business ideas and things going on at the same time. And they feel like, me personally, if I have a lot going on, I feel like it's detrimental for me to sit here and say, oh, yes, I want to be in a relationship with you, knowing I'm going to neglect you because this business is going to come first. Let me get this business together. Let it start running and making some money. Now I can pursue what it is that, you know, you want to do. And hopefully they're mature enough to go along for that ride. I don't know anybody who wouldn't, but be mature about your situation. So, hopefully I have put a little sprinkle on, you know, being happy, healthy, and whole as a woman because it's needed. It's, it's about to be 2021 and people still don't understand this. And it's still a cycle and people still in toxic situations and relationships and they nurturing it. They try to love people out of their toxic toxicity, if that's how you say it, if that's a word. But they're still trying to love people out of that and you cannot do that. You have to, you could be there for that person, but you cannot love anybody out of any situation outside of nothing they have to make that choice i don't care how hard you love somebody if they don't make the choice to say you know what this is a conducive for me let me change they're just gonna be that same person they may stop for a little while they may stop enough just to make you happy or to shut you up aka but they're not doing it for themselves and until they do it for themselves then no no amount of love no amount of tears no amount of Oh my God, I can't believe you're still doing this. It's going to stop somebody from doing it. Yes, could be an awakening. If they see they're hurting you, it can make them wake up and be like, you know what, let me stop. But they still have to make the choice to stop. Your tears was the flame or the fire to make them go the other way. But they can either put gas on it and keep going the right way, or they could blow it out and keep doing what they was doing. So... Oh, me and my not long videos end up being long, but I'm going to get my day started. And I hope that you all got a little, little something from it. Um, if not, y'all going to have to start putting on my little classes. Because I'm trying to tell you, I want, I want y'all to have the best in life. And that comes to your personal life, you know, your business life. If you own a business and things like that, all of that, all of that needs to be happy, healthy, and whole. If not, you're going to be doing a whole lot of work for no reason because you just don't understand. Okay. Toodles.